Hey y'all, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings, and I broke down and bought a new camera, a GH5, because my M100 had no mic input. So it was getting like really annoying to have to sync audio and do this, that, and the other. And then DaVinci Resolve came out and gave a really, really, really amazing AI audio voice isolator. So I'm just going to stop this guy right there to use this voice isolation, which is really, really amazing. And I'll show you the before and after you just take a clip, drag it down onto your edit page. Easiest way is just to go over here to audio, click on voice isolation and you're done. Here's a demo with and without that and the other. And then DaVinci Resolve came out and gave a really, I mean, do you hear how crappy that is? Like there's so much noise in that, that it's pretty much unusable, which is why I don't use my M100 camera because it doesn't have a mic input. Then you turn it on. Really amazing AI audio voice isolator. And uh, I'm filming in my noisy computer room with a bunch of fans around. I mean, that is like night and day difference. Now you have three little things, which you normally don't get these on this edit tab. But it, the hamburger on the side here lets you control the amount. And you'll notice the amount also lines up with this. So you don't have to click the three things. But if you have a setting you want it to be perfect, you can say, even save a profile. For the simplicity of this, I, I would just use the slider, which is what I'm going to use, and show you the difference. If you, you would only use the slider if you want to keep some of the ambient background, which you might want to do if you're, you know, filming in nature and you have a little bit of, you know, bird noises or something behind. But here's, here's how it works, just sliding up and down. It is truly, truly amazing. Really, really amazing AI audio voice isolator. And uh, I'm filming in my noisy computer room with a bunch of fans around and I'll show you what the audio really sounds like and then I'll show you what uh <laughs> what da Vinci can do and I'll show you just how easy this is to work so I'm editing this and someone's going to say why don't you just use the restoration noise reduction and I wanted to show why so here is the unaltered audio from my GH5 that has a shotgun mic with a fan blowing. This thing, which is pretty loud, which is blowing my... So that's a fan literally blowing straight at me and it's annoying. So we're going to turn noise reduction on default just to show you the difference here. My hair which is blowing straight on me. And immediately you hear it's extremely tinny, like really bad. So going to try learning this thing, which is pretty loud, which is blowing my hair, which is blowing straight on me or straight at the mic either way. And that option's not horrible. Don't get me wrong. Let me turn it up a bit. A lot. My hair, which is blowing straight on me or straight at the mic, either way, it's blowing. I just lost focus. And you'll notice that you can still hear the fan in the background. So from there, I would have to kind of guess. So let me try auto speech mode, which is blowing my hair, which is blowing straight on me. All right, and you can still hear the fan there. So let me, uh, let me, I, I'd say that's the thing. <laughs> and there we go. I don't know what to do. Which is blowing straight on me or you straight can still at hear the, the fan. Mic. Either way, it's blowing. I just lost focus. There we go. If you turn your threshold too high, it gets really tinny. So, yeah, I have a fan blowing all over the place because sometimes it gets warm in here, but it's the dead of winter now, or it's almost winter now, so it's a little chilly in here. 
But I'm saying all that to give you enough audio here to get an idea of just how good Da Vinci's 18, Da Vinci Resolve, I'm saying all that to give you a lot of audio so that you can see just how good the AI noise removal and voice isolation on the... So long story short, why would you mess with all of that when you can do this? Uh. On the Vinci Resolve 18.1 really is. And when I say it's freaking good, I mean, it's freaking good. Because like there's some flanging a little bit, but easily. And it's good. And I'm also in a non-treated room. It's actually a bedroom with drywall. So it bounces and echoes like crazy. So long story short, you can use noise reduction and it's fine. Uh, but it's, it's a lot more complicated and you have to do a lot more trial and error than just pushing a button. And I'm a little, I'm actually really happy because it's really good. I mean, do you hear the difference in that? And that's just from one click of a button, just bam. It takes out all that background noise. It doesn't even get that tinny. It just turned this uh, camera that I'm using, the M100, which doesn't have a mic input, into a usable camera. Like I said, it's amazing. Now, the other way you can do this, uh, let's say you have a track and you want everything on this track to be like that. Make sure you don't have it on here, but let's say you want everything to have it on this track. Just go to your Fairlight tab and you'll notice track effects, voice isolation. You also have dialogue leveler, which is a, a very good effect. I just don't need it in this case, but you just turn it on here and everything on track one in this case becomes isolated. It's really cool. My M100 into a usable camera. As always, if you like this, like and subscribe. Uh, it always helps the channel out if you found any value at all. And uh, yeah, if you want to see a grown man laying on the floor, <laughs> like and subscribe, come back for more. But I do like uh, DaVinci Resolve 18.1. They, they fixed the problem. And shoot, they fixed it good too. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.